So look for the opportunity just to work on yourself personally, professionally, strengthen your enterprise value, position yourself for growth. And of course, be a light, be the energy. Hey, this is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. I mean, clearly we're in the storm, but I can feel the energy shifting. I can feel in my conversations with clients, the mood moving back towards anticipation for the future, as opposed to anxiety and apprehension. Part of that is a mindset. I mean, I'm looking at this as a gift in many ways from the standpoint of reminding ourselves about our sense of purpose, doing some things that maybe we've been putting off or haven't had a chance to get to, noticing some things. I mean, we were in the hot tub last night, beautiful evening, stars everywhere. And then a string of 20 satellites flew right over top of us. Incredible. Was recommended to watch the movie White Squall. So we're going to watch that tonight at home. I'm actually thinking that maybe I'm going to learn how to play that ukulele I bought in Hawaii two years ago. We'll see how that goes. Now, coincidentally, of all the calls that I've had through this turbulence, one of the most memorable was with a client of ours in Honolulu, Marsha. And on the exchange, she said, I want to make a statement and I want to ask a question. So the statement was, I don't think I would have come through this as well as we have had I not embraced the Pareto system. I mean, our business is portable. We're working at home. The disruptions have been minimal, which was gratifying to hear. But then the question, she said, you know, all of our review meetings now are virtual, right? WebEx, Skype, and they're going well. And in fact, they're so tight and efficient now, I'm wondering when we come out of this and the dust settles, if we can just keep doing virtual review meetings. Now you think about Little's Law, like a year ago, they were bumping up against their capacity and Little's Law says the closer you get to capacity, the more things tend to break down. So we've refined and optimized that, created some capacity for more growth with the, they have experienced. But now she wants to get out in front of it again, and she thinks this might be the way to go, which led to this great conversation about silver linings. So the first thing I reminded her is they're not review meetings. They're not a rehash of something that happened in the past. They're a strategy and tactical meeting where you invest the past into the future, make mid-course corrections, and make sure we're completely in sync. And it's an essential part of the process. Again, we want the clients to trust the practice and the process as much as they trust the people. But if you want to make this more panoramic, frame the strategy and tactical of a meeting with a ramp up and a follow through. Okay, which means in advance of the meeting, you email the agenda and you encourage the client to make sure the meeting is scheduled, but also to print out the agenda and start thinking about the concerns and questions they have. Lots of concerns and questions recently obviously, and then record the meeting and then do an email summary of what you discussed framed in form. Here's what we talked about regarding your family, occupation, and recreational aspirations. And of course, regarding where we're at, regarding your money and the decisions we made. And of course, that can be done virtually at a minimum for the 80% and potentially for all. But as we come out of this and the dust settles, and you reconnect with your clients, just simply say to them, you know, the silver lining of everything we just went through as we try to refine and optimize what we do is we found that a lot of clients really enjoyed those virtual strategy and tactical meetings. We gave them the gift of time. They didn't have to get into their car and fight traffic. And they were just as productive and meaningful. And then just be led with the client, see where that lands. And you're gonna have some clients who say, well, I wish we would have started doing this five years ago. I mean, they're amazing. You'll have some clients will say, you know, I'd still like to meet with you face to face once a year, but two or three other meetings throughout the year done virtually like that, perfectly fine. And this gives you an opportunity to just land in that sweet spot and remind your clients that, look, 
you're still growing, but you're maintaining scarcity, which means you can say to your clients, look, we want to get in front of our growth model. I mean, we only accept new clients who are introduced to us, but we do receive a lot of introductions, but we don't want it to come at the expense of the client experience and have that get diluted. So we're constantly being mindful of that balance. It's powerful. This is an example of what it means to work on the business, right? You know, when things were kind of calm and normal a month or two ago, and we're just, our heads are down and we're transacting and maybe drifting into a pattern where the business is running us instead of us running the business. And of course, just that opportunity to take care of yourself, right? The world needs you. So look for the opportunity just to work on yourself personally, professionally, strengthen your enterprise value, position yourself for growth. And of course, be the light, be the energy for the world, right? You get into a drive through pay and then tip big. Remember, tip to ensure professionalism. Now you drive away, but imagine the service the car behind you is going to get. Make a donation to the food bank. Go out of your way just to invest in your community. It's all good. Okay, so again, Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. Thanks for watching, and until next time, mahalo. Mahalo.